Hello perfume lovers. Hello everybody out there. Hi. Um, have you seen my face before? Um, if, if so, then you probably recognise me as the anti-New World Order. Really self-righteous comic book reviewer that looks at things from a, um, an evil, racist, white, supremacist point of view. Uh, you know, the left-wing kind of thing, so everybody in the, in the right wing is an evil racist. Um, a bit weird that. I don't really think about skin colour at all, but that's the way it is. And if you look at my um, other videos, you'll see they come from a, a almost like a right-wing individualistic uh, point of view and I'm railing against collectivism um, and the left. But uh, there's two sides to my nature. If you look at my comment reviews as um, the right side of my nature, then um, perfumes are going to be the, the left, more feminine side of my nature. So the, uh, the key in life is to get a balance, of course, isn't it? Uh, you don't want to be leaning too far to one side or leaning too far to the other side. You get out of balance, out of whack. What you want to do is um, get her as um, balanced as, as possible. Therefore, I, I'll do some perfume reviews and then instead about something that's um, traditionally feminine but really nice. I like smelling nice. I do. Right, so in this video, I'll be talking about Parfums de Mali Herod. It's my 10 mil decant. I've been going through this over the last few weeks, so I've got my conclusions pretty packed by now. I know what I think about it. And um, as just as with comic books, I've got, I've got strong opinions about it. But according to Fragrantica, it's a tobacco, vanilla, warm, spicy scent. Um, it's quite an expensive one. It costs about 150 quid for 100 mil, so it's a, a niche uh, perfume. Um, but to me, uh, if I had to compare it to any of the perfumes that I've tried, I've tried quite a few, I'd compare it to Thierry Mugler's Pure Havan. It's got the same um, opening, it's got the same um, honey sweet, although it's this cinnamon, uh, Pure Havan is honey. Uh, it's got the sweetness um, at, at the opening uh, with vanilla and uh, with t um, tobacco as well. I find that in the Pure Havan, the tobacco lasts um, a lot longer than, than, than Herod. Um, yeah, with Pure Havan, um, I've, when I've been wearing it for a few hours, people say to me, do you mean smoking a pipe? Um, <laughs> with Herod, after I've been wearing that for a few hours, people won't say anything because the scent almost completely disappears. It becomes a, a, a soft, woody uh, skin scent. Uh, the opening on, on the Herod is really, really nice. Uh, if you get a, a small decant, uh, you'll spray it on yourself and you think, this is lovely, I really, you know, I'm really enjoying this, I want to get a full bottle. But um, give it a few hours, then, then smell your hands or your wrist or wherever you sprayed it again, and you won't get much. Um, for a Anise perfume, that is really, really disappointing. Yeah, I mean, you're spending a lot of money on it and you expect it to at least last for a few hours. And it doesn't even last as long as um, Pure Havan. Pure Havan costs 40 to 50 quid, um, Herod 150 quid. So if you want a, um, a smoky, sweet, uh, uh, you know, honeyish scent, go for, go for Pure Havan. Um, I had a full bottle of Pure Havan and I won't be buying another one because it didn't last. That didn't last very long and Herod lasts even less time than that. So um, I would not get a full bottle of Herod, even though I really did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I just wish that it, it lasts um, a bit longer. It, it just doesn't last and, uh, and it's too expensive. So um, if you're trying it, or if you have tried it, uh, let me know what you think. Um, how does it project on you? Maybe it's just, you know, just my skin. Um, it is really, really a lovely scent, but um, when a scent's really, really expensive and just doesn't last, then um, what motivation would you have in, in investing um, more money in it? You'd just get the, the cheaper version, wouldn't you? The cheaper version being a um, pure van. I, um, some people on Fragrantica have compared it to Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Um, I kind of see that because it's vanilla and sweet, but tobacco vanilla is a lot, 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 uh, um, it's a lot nicer. It's, uh, the opening is a lot sweeter, more scrumptious, more delicious, and it lasts a lot longer as well. With tobacco vanilla, you'll be smelling like sweet vanilla all night long, but uh, with Herod, you won't. It'll just last half an hour, and then, then it's gone to, to woodiness. So if you're thinking about um, splashing out on a uh, top-quality vanilla spicy scent, Go for Tom Ford's tobacco for new over, over Herod, um, in my opinion. But you know, try them out yourself. Um, it might react differently on, on your skin and on, on your beard. Okay, I'll probably give it a uh, um, about six and a half out of ten because I did enjoy the opening. Uh, just when a perfume doesn't last and it's so expensive, and um, it's it's not for me. I'm going to go on to something else, pure van or you know tobacco for now. So that's my um, thoughts on Parfums de Marley's Herod. Let me know what you think if you tried out the scent for yourself. That's my uh, 
video coming from the left hand side of my um, complicated nature. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, be nice to each other, and um, please comment. I, uh, you know, I'd love to have a few more comments on my channel. That'd be great. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Take care. Be nice. See ya. Bye.